He's the, uh, the cover star tonight, Adam Rich of Albion News here at the Hawthorns, saying that it's frustrating slide sometimes him, not him. to have a set position. We'll come back to that in a moment. Here goes Tom Fellows away down the right-hand side. Fellows pulls it oh, back. Oh, it's going to be. Swept over the top of the crossbar by John Swift as Albion look for an opening goal inside the opening two and a half minutes at the Hawthorns. Fellows to Swift, but he can't well, keep his effort down. It remains goalless. Well, that's the one. Got to say, he's got to score. Well, he's got to, got to hit the target. I know it comes at him quick. I know it bounces in front of him. But for a player of his ability, he'll be bitterly disappointed he's not hit the target and we're at the goalkeeper at least there. Here is John Swift, runs past Jan and Veer and Sam Nombe to find Okai Yukuzlu with a square ball to the left-hand side. Now Mikey Johnston running oh, forward, plays clever. a lovely ball in behind towards Adam Rich, who's inside the box, plays... Oh, there it is! That's the net. one we wanted! Brandon Thomas Asante. A lovely ball slipped through in behind towards Adam Rich. He puts it on a plate for Thomas Asante. And the front man nets his 12th goal in all competitions for Albion this season. Albion won, rather a mill. Well, you look at Sante's run here, very, very clever. He just checks and he, barely, he just bounces off the centre half as if he's going to pull back for the cutback. He's, you watch it, great ball from Mikey Johnson there. Lovely run from um, Adam Reach. Oh, you don't see it on the replay, but he just bounces to say, I'm going to go and, and just check back for the cutback. And then he goes again. And it's a simple, simple tap in for him. It really is. Excellent, excellent goal. And exactly what we needed. All of a sudden, the crowd's up. Ollie Rathbone over the top. Kipre over the halfway line to John Swift. And Furlong and Swift on, combined to finally get the ball under control. Here's Thomas Asante, edge of the box, away from Lucas. Onto his right-hand side. He's done really well here, Thomas Asante, and then hits it into the face of Lee Peltier. Or has he's he given a penalty. Oh, he's given a penalty. <laughs> Well, I thought for a moment there that that hit Lee Peltier in the face. Well, 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 we're going to see this on the, the monitor. Referee has given a penalty. At first glance, Andy, it didn't even look as though Peltier was no. in the penalty area. And there are several Rotherham players surrounding the referee here. And there's no VAR, so... And we'll have a look back at this one. Turned away from Klukas, then turned away from another it player. It does hit him in the face. It looks like it hits him in the face, but he's not in the penalty area anyway. Whether it hits his hand or not, Jez, he's not in the penalty area. And what an opportunity this is for Albion. Oh, it's a great opportunity. To go two goals clear. Can Come he on, end Swifty. his goal drought in B7-1 against the Millers? Swift against... Yes! yes! Straight Get in the there! 2-0 to West Bromwich Albion. John Swift's ninth of the season. And he's back on the score sheet at the Hawthorns. It's West Bromwich Albion 2, Rotherham United 0. Well, that should be that, shouldn't it, now? That should be game over. You'd like to think so. There's the second goal. The little bit of comfort that we always talk about here. It's a, it's a good penalty for Swift. Should it have been a penalty? Well, that's up, totally up for debate. And we could probably discuss that well into the night, I would imagine. But uh, for me, no, it shouldn't have been. He slips it forward into the box towards Revan. Comes back to Rathbone, who will strike oh, it. Tell you and that what. whistle's just wide of the far post. Took a nick on its way through it did but Rotherham mightily close to halving the deficit here at the Hawthorns Ollie Rathbone the captain he's fired that he's spinning away towards the far post it goes out for a corner does well and doesn't he Kuzlu turns away from him <laughs> oh, oh, gives brilliant. it to Mikey Johnston Ollie Rathbone on his back Mikey Johnston escapes his challenge Johnston plays it through to Thomas Asante who's in behind to make it 3-0 oh. it's a big save from Johansson that's a terrific save as well Mikey Johnston on the edge of the box it's a challenge by Rathbone jumps into the tackle with Brandon Thomas Asante it comes to Adam Reach who's gone past his man Seb Revan into the box oh, it's it backwards it's gone missed by everybody Brandon Thomas Asante and surely now Rotherham will clear brilliant work from Mikey Johnston and then to, to be fair, from Thomas Asante, it's a great effort of a finish. And Johansson, the big keeper, it's a great save. They share a little joke. 